she is the gift that keeps on giving. Carrie Fisher had a ton of influence over The Last Jedi, beyond her own role as Leia Organa. We already know that she gave script advice to writer-director Ryan Johnson and to J.J. Abrams on The Force Awakens, and Johnson just revealed another way she made her mark on the movie. This detail comes courtesy of Star Wars fan at Ray's girlfriend, who asked Johnson about Poe Dameron and the new character Rose Tico's necklaces, at Rhea and Johnson what's the big idea with all this jewelry, Mr. Does the gang stop by a space K jewelers picked out Twitter.com Rayern Melu, Brooke at Ray's girlfriend November 2, 2017 In response, Johnson said that, Carrie Fisher told him with great urgency that The Last Jedi should include space jewelry. Naturally, he obeyed the general. In rehearsals Carrie grabbed my arm and told me with great urgency that we needed space jewelry. I thought that was a fabulous idea. So, Ryan Johnson at Rhea and Johnson November 3, 2017 If Disney fails to produce replicas of Rose Tico's crescent shaped necklace, it won't be long before fan-made versions appear on Etsy. Not only is it a cool accessory, it also has a meaningful role in the film. In a new interview with Entertainment Weekly, actress Kelly Marie Trance said the necklace is definitely something that is significant to Rose's backstory. It is an object that she kind of has throughout the film and it is representative of more than the object itself to her. It has significance that is, to me, something that means more than just what the object itself is. As for Poe Dameron's necklace, that's even more mysterious. It looks like a ring on a chain, and until proven otherwise, we've decided that it's his engagement ring for Finn. Carrie Fisher, Poe Dameron, Ryan Johnson, Star Wars, Star Wars, The Last Jedi.